Basements below. Hound kills hound, and the money changes hands. Such laughter, and they're singing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happier time. Deals are made here. Sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river, men or hound. They all go in. They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars.
Attention Dunwall citizens. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. What can I do for you? citizens of Dunwall. The Old Port District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Good day, Master Corvo. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes. And I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. I hope the attic's to your liking. I slept there myself on summer nights. I went and knocked on the front door a few nights ago for a joke. No one thought it was funny. My sister lost a tooth last month, fighting off some officer from the city watch. The sooner the Lord Regent is gone, the better I say. Just you wait. I'll own this place one day. I've dreamed it. Attention Dunwall citizens. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. 
Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. There's a little Tivian blood in the Pendleton line. That's the worst anyone could say about them. I think it's come out in the brothers just a little bit. My lord Trevor's pure as the Empress herself, I'm happy to say. The Pendletons are quite wealthy, but they were noble long before that. You've heard rumors about the Pendleton mines being worked by slaves, I suppose. Never been there myself, and I refuse to believe it. They say Custis Pendleton made an improper remark to the Empress once, and you ejected him from a state dinner before asking who he was. Well done, I say. This plague has ruined the social season for all of us. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. You know, I tried to attend services with the Overseers for a while. But they've just gotten more and more, I don't know, rabid about the seven strictures and witchcraft and all that nonsense. I think the Admiral's awfully distinguished, don't you? Everyone I know cried the day we heard the news about the Empress. Poor woman. And her little daughter lost. From what I understand, it just killed the Admiral to be cast out from the Navy. That was his life, before the Lord Regent came along. Someone came and banged on the door a few nights ago. I thought Lord Pendleton would piss himself. Oh, begging your pardon. To think what I spend smuggling in wine for his lordship. That Wallace can cook, yes. But the way he talks to us, you'd think he was a lord himself. I'd work for you for a year for free if you manage to get that Lord Regent off the throne. None of the shops are open, all the business has dried up, and most people can't even walk the streets. That man's a blight on the city. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be advised. The river crust infestation has spread down the river as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Attention Dunwall citizens, do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Yeah. 
fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. You'll find my genius in this verse. Bring me items of value. I can use the proceeds to build tools for you. Bring me any technology, anything at all, and I will reverse engineer it for our needs. He is Piero Chaplin, even now he visualizes the next invention. Poor Piero. His elixir has cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his brain fevers. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes, more than once. Each and every night, the black eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. They stood in a circle around the candles, and they cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. The conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are not followed. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. The boatman has a good heart and respects you. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the river Renhaven and all its tributaries, down to the smallest inlet. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crests, some from the nameless monsters of the deep ocean. Samuel was once eager to hear Havelock's stories of the sea, but perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. The ale here is sweetened with honey to hide the taste of the river brine. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Attention Dunwall citizens, river traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. The sober speaking whispers, the drunk bellow. He spies on his neighbors and reports to the overseers. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. It is in the common land that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his business partner a little every day. Some men can still find work along the waterfront. He didn't tend to that cut. And now it festers. The man is only as common as his dreams. Fortunes have been won here, and lives have been lost. All that he had was lost in the flood. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. The old man planted a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The house were the first to find him. He used to admire the overseers. Now he fears them. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. She hides her hands. They are raw and scarred from the washing. The common woman, she fears the Abbey and the plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. 
There is nothing in common about what she does every day. The old court district has been added to the evacuation. All she wants is to lay herself down in the middle of the Father Street. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague or the doom of Hades has come to the city. Stay alert. The fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She starves so that her children can have bread. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. The common folk, simple-minded, selfish, but they can be kind. She has only one dress, and wears it to tatters. Such laughter, and they sing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happier time. The common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. The other servants don't like her. Work is never done for the lowly servant. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's debts. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. If she lives until tomorrow, a day off, she will be mauled by leapers and left for dead. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in the job well done. There is not a day that goes by she does not consider taking her own life. The house held is treated poorly. But there are worse ways to earn a coin. The pain in her back is constant. Nothing helps. Work is never done for the lowly servant. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in the job well done. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river, men or hound. They all go in. The river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered... They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Well, fresh let's get down to it. From the First off. I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. He has killed whales and men for profit and in pleasure. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she, the Empress, was murdered. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. Look at him. Admiral Havelock grows restless on land. 
there was a younger brother, an artist, sensitive, soft, taken at nine by a fever. Havelock loved him truly. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely corrupt. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. You might be able to use that. Nervous? I would be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor. Remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard, and we've got to find Emily. The Overseers are a strange bunch, completely obsessed with the Seven Strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. Plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Oh, Corvo, if you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. She, she is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. city. She and her uncle, the last of the Colonel family. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she is a woman. Such sadness. She is Callista Colonel. She has learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. She and her uncle, the last of the Colonel family. Ready to go? Just give the signal. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. 
The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. I'll be here when you come back. Good luck, Corvo. Easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming.
Good. Keep them coming. One, two, three, heave! The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. If only she had a coin for every time she stubbed her toe. I will be glad to rest. There is nothing calm about the world. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted Sorry, travel area. Sorry, I can't help you. Any citizens I don't know this are liable area. to search or imprisonment. At the discretion of the city watch. Half the city's dead. We'll make it three more months. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Sorry, Lord Regent help speaking. You. Some folks it is needed with the regret food I had, and that I, I announced that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. On the left, you never listen. I think the little birdies are sad today. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Mm. Yes, I would, indeed. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your wash, wash. Yeah.
I... Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, Granny, Granny. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. They're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. At the Academy, Academy they, they cut, cut the, the flesh, flesh of the dead, dead and trap the lightning, lightning from the sky. Long ago, Granny Rags danced at court. Oh no, that's Many not best. Yeah. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. In, In her, her mind's eye, she's fancy trapped. In velvet, fresh and young, on, on her way, way to an evening in a row. I told you the knives go on the left. With open left. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? You never listen. Chew. Granny has work to do. Careful. She, she trends with her ass. And it is not as fresh as she seems. 
the children sometimes circle Granny Rex, following along and taunting. She has given herself fully to the outsider. Long ago, Granny Rex danced in court. Men begged to marry her.
He was in prison for five years, then changed his name to Griff. No one suspects. In troubled times, fortune often favors those such as he. Griff offers as close to a fair deal as one can find in the eyes. Yes, he knows who you are, but he will pretend he does not. And an honest man? No. But his heart is not as black as some. He was in prison for five years, then changed his name to Griff. No one I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Come on up. The more people die, the cheaper it gets. from today.
Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. children inside? I told her. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. What will I do now?
Stupid goddamn. Don't put it so long. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander's zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power?
You're such a chaffer. Ships have stopped bringing their hulls.
an army of shadows in front of him. That guy down? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? No. This is one odd bird. Consorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound like great. Damn right I am. Doubting an ordinary man, touched by the outsider he is, and given dark powers, he can slip your throat across the room. Love that new Malaya for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. <coughs> What the fuck are you looking at? Huh. Anything to smoke or eat. Blow off, chopper. When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah.
not fast. Shut up! Bastard. or the office of the High Overseer, but one of the other three, where they train the Overseers to be real religious. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. He sneaks it. You know where it is. Go in at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job, hitting the dumb one. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. <laughs> but it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music. A kind of plinky, plonky sound. That's what's good. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find it.
carved yourself some piece of cloth. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the gist. Not your <coughs> We'll settle in over here.
I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. That will never wash. Never, never, never. Get lost. Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Hey, what the? Damn it! That mask blocking your ears? I said shove off.
The second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, it's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. That'll change. Me, Overseer Martin. Corvo, now I knew you'd make it. I told. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do, and I can help. Unlock me, and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all